another brewery uh, into liquidation this week. Not good for our uh, our craft brewing industry, but uh, here's a here's another beer review. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Science. Yeah, well, like I said before, um, another brewery into receivership, which is you know it's a, it's a bastard. So that's Deep Creek gone now. Um, you know, we've had Brothers earlier on this year, and then prior to that, Epic, and you know, just breweries that are producing some really top quality craft brews, and they go to the wall, and it's kind of, I, I guess, I guess it's kind of the fact that there's a lot of them out there, um, and they're all vying for their part of the market. And um, what I did here was, um, like, Epic was looking at. Uh, like providing kegs, kegs and cans were their main source of uh, income um, and their craft beer bars if they provide with a keg um, you know you, you, your average bloody craft beer drinker goes in and buys himself a pint of say I don't know Armageddon uh, going to a, uh, a uh, an epic brew uh, buys a pint of Armageddon and then when he goes back up to the bar again he wants to try something else so yeah I guess it's kind of the double-edged sword of producing too many great beers that you want to try all of them so you don't just stick to one and drink a ton of Armageddon and you know your hop zombies and that are what people are they want to try that as well so yeah I don't know whether it's a it's an over an oversupply of I don't, I don't know I don't know what it is suffice to say um, it's an absolute shame that Deep Creek has gone into into liquidation or receivership or whatever they like to call it um, because they produce some of the greatest beers Misty Miyagi um, you know that uh, that is the, the hazy that I cut my teeth on um, so yeah real shame so I thought we'd do a Deep Creek today this is Wild Ride uh, it is a West Coast IPA love those West Coast IPAs, a 6.6 .6. Um, now this is where they've teamed up, so they do a lot of collaborations with other people as well, so you know this is teaming up with a photographer and uh, and Fujifilm, so Fujifilm uh, and a photographer by the name of Paul Moretti uh, no no it's not Paul Moretti a photographer by the name of Cam Hay uh, shot Paul Moretti on a surfboard um, on a on a Fujifilm and on an XT3, which is a Fuji camera. Don't know a lot about Fuji cameras, not that uh, I use those. Um, and that was shot at Piha, North Piha, which is uh, a beach, surf beach. So West Coast IPA, New Zealand's wild West Coast is a special place in our hearts. To wonder what we've created another delicious West Coast IPA, bringing you fresh pine and citrus. Uh, and then goes on about teaming up with Fujifilm New Zealand, which is not about them, it's about the beer. So yeah, so let's get this into a glass. This is uh, probably one of the one of the very last deep creeks around, I would think. So once all this stock's gone, that'll be it. It's a real shame, real shame. Anyway, and I don't say anyway in any, you know, I, it is disappointing. Um, so get out there and support them when you can uh, obviously they're in going through bad times all right yeah west coast ipa nice and clear look at that beautiful crystal clear smells so resiny and you know because it's the it's the real powerful hot character that these west coasters give you Oh, it smells so good. And yeah, again, it'll be another great beer from Deep Creek. So let's have a, let's have a crack at it. Oh, that's got that's got a number of layers in that bastard. Oh, Jesus, that is good. Okay, so that has. Uh, a really nice 
uh, malt base that is quite strong that you can feel or you can taste the the malt base you can taste that but they've cleverly they've cleverly had the the, the resinous hops and the piney flavors that come over the top that give you that bitterness um, sort of come in as a second layer and it's kind of a it's kind of a twofold flavor experience a twofold flavor 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 experience oh. yeah now it's a 6.6 .6, so it's not overly uh, not overly smashed up with the alcohol but it's a it's very very nice and you can't taste it so there's no alcohol sort of heat um, great brew great West Coast IPA if you if you like West Coasts this is a good one because it gives you that double layer so you still get the you get the smash from the hops where it really fucking bang get that massive bang on hops bang on hops the massive lots of flavor the hops have heaps of flavor but you still get that multi um, base that comes in as well um, so I think for you you West Coast IPAers you wickup, wickupers, you wickupers for you wickupa lovers I think you should give this one a go Wild Ride from Deep Creek get it while they are still available um, yeah alright there you go there's another Deep Creek beer review from Beer Search.